Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I guess you're doing well. Alright, standing before you is Mr. Michael Mwese. And now we're taking you through this session in English language. Regular plural nouns. Regular plural nouns. Now for us to understand this topic properly and very well, I'm going to break it down. We're going to understand first what a plural is, then we're going to go further to look at what a noun is. I bet some of you must have forgotten what a noun is. Alright, when we talk about plural, we are talking about things that are more than one. Things that are more than one. For example, I have two markers here. So these two markers definitely are more than one. So this is a plural. So anything that has to do with two, three, and many numbers, then you classify such as a plural. Now, coming down to what a noun is, we all know that a noun is a name word. A noun is a name word. Cars, David, toy, whatever you give a name to, it's a noun. Now, for us to understand what this topic is, regular plural nouns, I would like us to go to this section of the ball to understand this proper. Now, coming here, we have singular nouns and we have plural nouns. Remember that we are dealing with countable nouns. Nouns that can be counted are what we're dealing with. So we classify them as regular plural nouns. For the singular noun, we have car, bus, city, calf, boy, key. Now, for us to write this in the plural form, we have for car, we have cars, cars. For bus, we have buses. Now, why do we have bus? Why do we have the ES added to this word bus? Whenever a noun end with an S, whenever a noun end in S, And with the SH, the CH, what you have to do is to add your ES to the singular noun. For example, when you have bush, gives you bushes. So whenever you see that your noun, your singular noun ends with the S, SH, or CH, just add your ES to form the plural. For city, we have cities. Why do we have cities? Because our Y now is changing to I and we add our ES to the word. Cities. Whenever a word ends with the Y, and if a letter before the Y is a consonant as we have here in city, remember your T is a consonant. Now, for you to form the plural of this singular word, you're going to change your Y to I and you add your ES to the word. Then we have cities. Now we're talking about more than one city. Now for calf, you have to change your F to the V and you add your ES to form the plural word. So for calf, we have cows. Cows. Boy, we have boys. Some of you will ask me, that's why do I have to add my S? Since it said every Y, we have to add it, change it to the I and add our ES. Yes, but the reception to many rules. Now, coming down to this boy, remember, I said, if it's a consonant letter before the Y, you, add, you, add, you change your Y to the I and you put your ES, then you form the plural word, the plural word. Now, for the boy, if the letter before the Y is vowel, there is no point of you changing your Y to I. So you just go to, you, 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 you just add your S to the word boy, 
and we have boys. Same goes to keys. Key, keys. This is because the E here is a vowel. And once you have a vowel before the Y, you just add your S to the word to form the plural form. Now, coming back to what I was discussing here about regular plural nouns, I said regular plural nouns are nouns that take their plural forms by adding an S, ES, VES, or IES to the singular nouns. So whenever you add the S, your ES, VES, or IES to a singular noun, it means that noun is a regular plural noun. Coming further, we, said, we say here, it is important to note that some plural nouns have an S added to the singular nouns, as in cars, cars, dogs, etc. Some plural nouns also have the es added to the singular nouns, as in knives, shells, and many others. Now, I'm going to give us an exercise on this topic, regular plural nouns. Please, when you're doing your exercise, put in mind that your regular plural nouns must end with either an S, ES, VES, or IES. Thank you.